about a month ago I was doing a little interview video about asexuality and I was asked about representation for asexuality and aromanticism in TV and media and my answer was ha what asexual representation the last few weeks of my summer I was bored out of my mind and I was watching a lot of Netflix and TV to kind of cure my boredom and I decided that I would Google asexual characters on TV. And I discovered that in the season three finale of Bojack Horseman, the character Todd more or less comes out as asexual. It is through a conversation he's having with a close friend who he has had a relationship with in the past, Emily. And Emily's like, so are you gay or... Todd's just like, no, I'm not gay, but I don't think I'm straight. I think I'm like, nothing and i was sat there watching this like that that right there is an asexual character what <laughs> so i decided to watch the rest of bojack horseman and season four came out last week and i had heard that in season four they talk a bit more about asexuality and i was thrilled but I was also really curious to what they would do with an asexual character, how they would represent him and stuff like that. I was watching it and I am thrilled at the representation that asexuality has been given. And I just have so much to say and I'm so happy. Like, oh my god. <laughs> so firstly, finding the label of asexuality. So the first episode of the series starts with Todd and Emily sat in their little cafe booth table thing and Emily mentions something about Todd being asexual and Todd's just like, um, what? What? Uh, I didn't say I was asexual, I didn't say that, what? No. And he's kind of a bit shocked and that's because, very carefully, might I add, at the end of season three, Todd doesn't actually say he's asexual. He says he's not really anything and i think that was very clever todd kind of is having a little crisis about labels and stuff like that in the rest of the episode and an episode later he is having a little quite deep talk with bojack todd doesn't go into this conversation like yeah you know what right now i'm gonna go come out to bojack so it's obviously an important and quite deep conversation but there are still elements of joking and friendship in it in that it's not heavily focused on Todd's sexuality. Bojack is apologising for a situation that happened between him and Emily in a previous season because he thought that Emily was Todd's girlfriend and stuff like that. And Todd's just kind of like, no, I don't think I, I deserve love. Bojack's like, what are you on about? You're like really lovely and you're so kind and you're selfless and you do this and you do this. And Todd's just like, no, I don't think I deserve love. I think I'm asexual. Originally Bojack's just like, a sexual what and Todd's just like no, no no like a like not sexual like sexuality like not sexual and Bo just just like okay that's cool you can tell that Todd is still learning a lot about his sexuality and he's quite insecure throughout the season he's very like oh I know you think it might be weird that asexuals are this and that I'm still doing this and he's very much learning and breaking the stereotypes. One of the things that I think Bojack Horseman as a show has done incredibly throughout the last three seasons, at no point does Todd really talk about relationships, but that's not drawn attention to. He is just someone that hasn't happened to be in a relationship. He just like lives on Bojack's sofa and does all this weird crazy stuff, but it's not weird that he's not in a relationship and it's not weird that he's not sleeping around or not getting crushes or going on dates and stuff like that. It's a really good and subtle contrast. As I said, Todd is quite unsure about it. Anytime he kind of has a conversation about asexuality, he's like, oh no, I know you might think it's weird. And in his coming out conversation with Bojack, Todd goes on to say how nice it feels to say it out loud. And then he says how he is asexual out loud several times and you can see how comfortable he is and that he found this label that Emily kind of threw at him didn't want to use it straight away and then thought about it and was like actually yeah no that is 
is me. And I can kind of imagine him at some point along the line doing a little bit of Googling and research, but not a huge amount because he's still learning and still finding out. At one point, Todd says that he's not ready to be friends with Bojack again, but he wants to be more than not friends. And Bojack's like, oh, I guess for an asexual, that's pretty like the best I'm gonna get. And Todd's just like, no. And I think that's really good because it shows the different variations of humour that people are comfortable and uncomfortable with. The following scene is Todd going to an asexual group. But what I think is amazing about just this one shot that says asexual meetings, all aces welcome, is that you see about six or seven different people, not including Todd, sat around tables and at a bar and playing games and every single one looks different. There is no stereotype. One of the things I would really have loved to see there, and a really subtle detail I would like to see in the future, is the use of an ace ring, which is the little black ring on the middle finger of the right hand. It is not known of a huge amount. It is known of in some aspects of the asexual community as just a symbol for asexuality. It's a big part of my identity, this ring, I'm not gonna lie. I have worn it every single day for nearly two years. But again, maybe just the producers weren't aware of this thing. It's a very low-key thing. I will make a video on the ace ring another time. Anyway, a few episodes later, Todd is meant to be getting into this marriage, kind of like a staged marriage, but he's at this group, he's out for dinner, and he's like, I know you guys think it's weird because I'm asexual, but um, I'm getting married next week. And the two people we sat with are like, no, it's not weird. I mean, we're both asexual and we're married. And Todd's just like, what? What I really like about how they represent asexuality in Bojack Horseman is that they teach the audience what asexuality is without it being patronising or blindingly obvious. So in this conversation that Todd is in with this married asexual couple, they're just like, yeah, no, asexual just means that you're not interested in sex and some people are asexual and aromantic and others aren't. And then they go on to add that some asexuals do get married and if you find someone that you care about and you trust and who accepts you then then that is a valuable relationship to have even without sex being involved. And I think this was a really interesting way of teaching the audience about asexuality as well as teaching as I said Todd's character who's clearly still learning. And I like that they added some asexuals can also be aromantic because many asexuals aren't. I think that was really important because maybe in the future seasons there might be a situation where Todd finds he is romantically attracted to someone who is also romantically attracted back and he won't just kind of be there being like how could I be attracted to someone if I don't want to have sex with them? I could see that being a conversation that plays out and I'm glad they included that. And the very last thing that I want to add is the very end of the season. Todd is talking to another character whose name I have forgotten and they're kind of going their separate ways and she's like, yeah, well, I'm going to go back to work now, but maybe sometime we can meet up for a drink. And Todd's just like, oh, I should probably tell you I'm actually asexual. And this girl is just like, yeah, I know, me too. And that's why I'm asking you out. And I really, really hope that something develops with that story. And I am so excited that there is an asexual main character in this show. It has just honestly made my year. I am incredibly happy. And if anybody knows of any other shows that have asexual characters, I would love, love to watch them and see how they're being represented. I am definitely going to do some more researching into some more niche shows that have asexual characters, but I really love everything that Bojack Horseman does and I would like to see um, in future seasons, as I said, the ace ring, and I'd also like to see Todd face some of the small but still quite significant issues that people face as asexuals like erasure and assumptions and I just hope that they do more of the storyline because I really enjoyed it. However, I love that they didn't make 
the whole season about this storyline. It only appeared in a few episodes and it was subtle and it was refreshing and amazing. And I just love it so much. I am gonna go, but I will see you in my next video, which may or may not be a celebration video for the fact that it is my three years on YouTube in just under a week. So I shall see you all then. Don't forget to like this video if you want. Share it around. Let me know what you think about this representation and what you would like to see, as well as any other shows that you know of that include asexual characters. And yes, thank you for watching and I will see you soon. I'm gonna go. Okay. Bye.